Hey, what is up, people? It's Terran Talks and stuff and reasons. I don't even care at this moment. You fight me right now. I am a bit upset right now. Um, things upon things upon things have been happening to me lately, and I'm... Great, I can't hear out of my left ear cup in my freaking headset. That's awesome. Life, you know. That's how it works. Because my left ear cup is not working. That's the greatest thing in the world. When you don't have your full range of sound. Are you kidding me right now? Hold on, guys. Okay. We're back. Back to more bullshit. Alright, so pretty much, you know, normally I'm generally the nice guy in my LPs or whatever the hell these things are called nowadays. Generally the guy that, you know, doesn't really get upset. I'm always... I don't even know what I normally am, but now today, no, screw that. F your Merrill, your Mer crow. It can catch the flamethrower to the chest and die. Yeah, your U-turn sucks. But yeah, today was just terrible. Over the past few days, I've been like really upset. Kind of, sort of, in a sense, you know, because various factors. Um, let's start off with this one. I almost, like, literally, like, legit got pushed, not really pushed off. Like today, I know I was driving today, and scumbag asshole of a uh, truck driver decides, "Hey, I'm going to try to merge in front of you because, hey, I'm a big ass truck and I can do whatever the fuck I want." So it attempted that and it actually succeeded. But the fact of the matter is, you don't just go around trying to fucking push people off of the road. That's kind of scumbagish. Like that really like pissed me off. I was perfectly fine until that happened. And then like the day before. Freaking what, two people almost hit me. I was just like, really? Come on, Los Angeles, get your shit together. Learn how to drive, please, for the sake of other people, because that shit's really annoying. I'd, I'd prefer to keep my car, you know, running and stuff so I can get to where I need to be, namely school and to my internship, but like, like legit, stop being a f fucking douches. I'm like, like, super legit, like, upset today, like. I'm generally never upset like you guys for as long as you've watched me or however short whatever time it is that you have watched me play games you probably have never really seen me like really angry or anything like that it's because I tend to keep a mellow ish like profile I guess you could say I'm generally I'm generally the nice guy you know I won't really get angry and stuff like that I can't catch anything in this cave because uh yeah, you saw last episode, it was a Dratini that got away. Well, it fainted, so... Yeah. Um... See, another thing is just like... There's this thing, there's this event going on... Um... Called Indicate. Which is... Probably over, or it's probably like happening right now, but... It spans two days, it's October 5th and 6th for um... Like, spectators, I guess. Or like, people that are, aren't indie developers. But um... Pretty much... There, it's it's like a little gathering of like a bunch of indie gaming stuffs, and they have, <clears throat> excuse me, they have Oculus Rift there, which is one of the things I really wanted to go. Like I found that out, and I was like, I must try Oculus. I I really want to try Oculus Rift, but I couldn't. I I can't go because of the fact that I am lacking funds to do such a thing. And you might be wondering why, because of the city of Los Angeles, because I. I think I've said this story before, but I got a parking ticket at one point, and lo and behold, I mean, yeah, sure, I could, I'll could, i take the blame for it, but legit, legit, don't give me a parking meter, right, and allow me to pay past the time where they're going to freaking sweep the damn streets. Don't say, well, you can't park here from 10 to whatever, and then let me pay up until like 1030. That's bullshit. That's legitimate bullshit. So... Or no no no, it was like we're gonna they're gonna street, like sweep the streets at 11 or something like that, and I was there at like nine. No, I was like yeah, I was like there at 8:45, paid up, and it was like yeah, you you're good to go to like 11:35, and I'm like that's cool because my class ends. Lo and behold, what happens? Parking ticket. So I was out a couple. Of, I, was, I was out some money, you know, it was 75 dollars for the ticket, plus the like two dollars that I could have saved if I didn't have to pay for parking there. So it was like, screw you, Los Angeles, you piece of poop of a city. I hate you so much. 
doesn't help the fact that we're in the middle of freaking autumn and it's hot. We're in the middle of fall. It's not really hot, hot, but it's just annoying. Give me my cold weather, please. It's just, it's just so many factors. It's, uh, uh, it's really dumb. So many games coming out. There's a uh, freaking X and Y are dropping, and I'm actually getting worried that I might not be able to freaking play it on launch day because I've been really looking forward to playing this game, and I really, really want to play it on launch day, and I might not be able to do such a thing because I still need to let's see finish paying for the game and why is he still frozen so to finish paying for the game it's like $40 left I can probably going to trade in Splinter Cell for that and then I need a 3DS about time you throw it out you jerk ass I need to buy a 3DS which I'm not even sure if I'm going to have the money for that which kind of freaking sucks and like you guys know I might be getting the game early or like, like a day or so early maybe a few days early hopefully but it's like, if I don't have a freaking 3DS, then what the hell is the point of me getting it early? What the hell is the point of me getting the game at all? So I might have to end up waiting until uh, we get paid, or us partners on YouTube get paid, or at least us Machinima partners get paid on the 15th. Which, yeah, I'm just super ranting right now. I really don't care. Break the terms of use on Machinima, whatever. They can watch this video. I don't give a shit. Um, yeah, pretty much it's just like, yeah, we get paid on the 15th. Uh, since my views haven't been da haven't been as much or as huge as they used to be, I don't really make as much as I used to, which kind of sucks. But it's whatever. It's it's no big deal, I guess. I'm still getting some type of uh, money from this. That's so awesome. Either way it goes. Speaking of Machinima, the greatest fucking partnering company of the world on YouTube. Fuck your ho oh, your ho oh can kiss kiss my ass. Um, these those guys they. They absolutely suck. If you guys ever want to partner with like a company, or if you like get your, your uh, you know, if you get your channel up, gaming related possibly, and you're like, man, I can get partnered. Don't partner with Machinima, please don't. Yeah, I, I'm advising you not to do it. Why? They used to be cool. They used to be great. You know, the people, the, the people were still cool. Some of them are cool. Some of the ones that are still there that weren't laid off in their past, what two layoffs within like three months of each other, I believe. But yeah, so they generally their support, like main reason why I really am over Machinima is their support is like non-existent. You could need a question asked, like answered. You could message them on Monday. You won't get a damn response until like next Wednesday. And it's just like, I know you guys are there. I know you're fielding my emails or such and such. It's like I am currently, I currently have a, um, at this time I have a, uh, a, what do they call those things? An open support ticket. There you go. I have a support ticket open right now that has been open for the last one month. So like 30 days. It's been open for a freaking month. So I'm just like, really guys, can you guys at least freaking pretend that you care? <laughs> like, I have submitted the ticket. Nothing. Um, I, like, I got one response to the question and the question that I asked that person asked me another question and there's nothing over here right yeah that person asked me another question to which I answered and asked another question that question has yet to be answered so I've been waiting for a month for them to actually say something which they haven't done I've tweeted people um, uh, it, I've emailed people I'm getting nothing so it's like it's like they don't care if you're not one of those huge ones like Sky or was Sky even with Minecraft? I mean, with the Machinima anymore? I don't even know. But yeah, he, like if you're not the huge money makers, like any of the creatures or something like that, chances are you're not going to get through to anybody, which kind of is shitty. And yeah, um, I'm just yeah, everything so far has just been like a pile of poop all on top of each other. You don't battle, Fisherman Ralph. Shut. No, I don't want to. I don't want to talk to you. I'm gonna switch um, Shadow Kid up front, cause, cause reasons. I haven't trained this damn thing. Up. What up, Miss Magius? Talk to this Juice Nas. But yeah, generally, um, I, I'm a little calming down. I'm calming down slightly. This mother father has a mew, and it's raining, so I'm gonna just you know, air cut it. Ooh, that's not bad. But Megahorn. Ooh, good job. I didn't die. But I generally typically, 
Chip, I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. I kind of mellow, mellowed out a bit. You have a fucking Mew and a Giratina? What the hell is wrong with you? Why do you need any of those on your team? This is the same guy that had the freaking Onyx that would destroy you like as soon as you came out of the cave. Okay. Okay, Giratina, I see you. I see you not raising my freaking grass type, bug type thing. Whatever this thing is in this game. Oh, not Kinesis, my accuracy. Get out of here. That's, that's gotta suck. You use Kinesis, you drop my accuracy, and a pretty poopy accurate move, not so accurate move hits you. At least I'll, it might be accurate. I think it's like 90. It might be 90. I'm, I might be tripping. Reversal. Stop using Kinesis. It's so stupid. It's most annoying. Why is this thing... Oh, I forgot. I have slow start. I'm like, why is this thing faster than me? But It's still faster than me regardless, so that kind of sucks. Okay, we're done here. D-pad, please. Sir, please. Also, also, speaking, since we're playing Pokemon, I, I read the news today, and apparently, I'm guessing that they're saying that any Pokemon that experience that is in battle, like in X and Y, they will be able to gain full experience, which is kind of, I mean, I'm not really too fond of that. I mean, they've been making the game a little bit too easy, you know, like with Black and White 2, with the whole rebattling of, um, you already know what's going on there. He's he's like, I want to go to things. I know no one can go in there. I'm blocking, blah, blah, blah. Anywho, yeah, with like Black and White 2 allowing you to rebattle freaking um put with us pokemon breeders that kind of i was like okay that's kind of cool it's kind of easy but it's, it's whatever also with the people in the field like the doctors that you could heal those came out in black one and uh, white one but still in black and white too when they were like yeah you can rebattle these guys i was like what it's kind of too easy and then now they're like yeah any pokemon in battle gets full experience and not like a half of it like it used to be that's kind of I don't really like being, I don't like my hand being held while I'm playing Pokemon. I can only buy four Super Potions. I'm, I should, I'm fine. I don't need anything. I'll buy some more Pokies though. Pokeballs. Spend all my money on that shit because cause why the hell not? I can go back and catch a Pokemon in that one uh, area right before, after the cave. Let me go talk to this douche nods up in here first. First thing with a white one. But yeah, like I'm, I mean, yeah, Pokemon is cool, but... I missed the the challenge. Like now, if that's true at all, it's gonna be so like easy to just like train up any Pokemon. You just swap them in, swap them out, swap them in, swap them out, and they get like the thousand damage. Each gets a thousand each, so that's really stupid. Smart move or dumb move? What do you think it is, guys? Are you more fond of actually having to try to to level up your Pokemon, or are you more fond of you know everybody getting the same experience? Since we're on Route 33, let's try to catch something here. What, what you got? What you got, game? What you gonna give me? A beautifly. I don't even want it. I don't. I really don't. And it has slow start. Why do I want a beautifly with slow start? I'll catch it, but I don't want it. And I just realized that I still have that great ball that I used. I think. Or did I find a great ball in the cave? I don't even remember. Uh, poison tail. I'm just like, uh, I don't know. Today, I'm just like, blah. So many factors in this past week have kind of got my hopes up and upset me at the same time. So I'm just like, great. Can't try out Oculus. Can't try out the, um, the roller cage ball virtual reality thing. I forgot what it's called something pretty cool let me I can check my Twitter right now and I can find out what it is because it's so freaking cool that I must name what the hell it is I thought I hit the use button uh, let's see it was it is called the the virtue sphere the virtue sphere and both and oculus are both there so it's just like oh my god if you don't have the virtues I gotta name this thing don't I hold on get the names all right, I'm back with the list, and I am naming this thing, since it's female, I'm naming it Eliza. I had a list of female names that uh, someone gave me, and it was Eliza, Sky, Nari, or Naho. 
And I'm gonna go with Eliza, cause I feel like Eliza fits that thing. But I'm not gonna use it because I don't need a second Pokemon that has slow start. It's a water and rock type, which is awesome, but it has slow start. And it's only move that has this quick attack. Mmm, not. Not one of those Pokemon that you really, you know, have to have on your team, per se. So you get immediately boxed because no one cares about a slow start beautify with quick attack. No one does. I didn't even like read it like actual stats, but no one cares. So oh, I didn't put it, I put I put it in the graveyard. I didn't put it in the graveyard. That's that was a mistake. Get your ass out the graveyard. Just get in the box one. There you go. I need to set this thing just in case I catch more pokies. There we go. Our riggedies. I am good to go back and well not back into but into the freaking slowpoke well and be like, well, let's do stuff. Also about the slowpoke well, I, I used to just love being able to go straight up into it in the original game. But no, you gotta go all the way around. So dumb. I forget you can go out through the other side too. Look at that ugly ass slowpoke. I hurt my back, son, and go save me. Or help team. I don't give a damn. Don't want to assert. Don't want to. I'm going to freaking catch it via freaking broad. Because I'm that damn cool. How often do you get to catch a Pokemon via old rod? And I can go back. No, I can't. I already did that. I was going to say I can go back into that one town and catch something. But I already did that. I kind of can in New Bark, can't I? Or does the starter count? I don't really know. I forget if the starter actually counts. If it does, too bad. I'm not. I'm. I, whatever. I'm not even gonna go back. I don't feel like going all the way back to New Bark. What you gonna give me, game? A mother father Venusaur. As if I need a freaking Venusaur. Thank you for cutting your HP to maximize your attack, so I can T wave you. You get paralyzed, and then I throw a Pokeball at you or a Great Ball because I'm gonna catch your tongue, your dumbass. Wow! Look at this guy. Kicking out of Pokeballs and shit. Hey, keep your punk at. He's probably gonna kill Shadow Kid. He's probably gonna do it. I have faith in Venusaur to kill Shadow Kid right now. I have faith in his game. I have faith in his game. Now I can't switch out. It's great. Gold, Premier Ball, the greatest Pokeball of all time. It has a higher catch rate than the Master Ball itself because it's awesome. Look at that. I would. Whoop, yep, seen that coming. I'm out. So the other thing died. <laughs> and I don't give a dang. I really don't care. I mean, Shadow Kid, uh, it had a Rock Smash. Other than that, I really couldn't use it. I could have, but I really don't care. At this moment, you should never play any Nuzlocke's upset because there's a chance that you really won't give a damn about if your Pokemon dies or not. It's kind of a sad thing, but I really don't care. So I'm gonna probably just wrap this up after finishing. After I've, what's the guy's name? Petrol. After I beat Petrol, then I'm probably gonna wrap this uh, thing up. This episode. Wrap it up like a gift and present it on Christmas, because that's uh, what we do. Karate chop that thing. This thing is immune to everything, except Psycho Boost. Damn it, it's a moon cycle boost too. Shit. Okay, fine. I can't be I can't move though, because I'm stuck in rap. It's kind of blows. So cycle boost. Oh my god. Thank you. I got my act together and I was freed, so karate chop should kill it. It's at least what I was hoping. Flareon, the most useless evolution of all time. How are you doing tonight? This thing sucks, I swear. Unless, like, you have to, like, to make it useful, you have to actually, like, train it and stuff. Or you have to be smart before you evolve it or something. I don't know. It's so garbage. It's terrible. All right, we're out of here. So I'm switching this dude back out. Bring me C-check. Oh, D-pad. D-pad, you need some experience. You got the business. You gonna head him with the business. I'm trying to go and get this person over here. Nice victory bell. I probably wouldn't have wanted to catch that anyway, so I'm glad I faced the other thing first. 
the hell was the first thing I fought? I fought. I don't even remember. Uh, that, that's how much I care. I don't really care to remember at all. And it's Swine Up has rain, whatever, drizzle. I was gonna call it rain drizzle, but I thought if I just you know gave it a little bit of time to have a space in between rain and whatever I was gonna say next, that would make sense. As I just ramble on trying to explain my previous uh, whatever the hell. Not very effective, but you just got O code. Not bad. Super potion. Swag. I said that shit. I said it. What you gonna do about it? How do I have reception down here? I would have loved a mother father Riolu. I really would have. Fun fact, guys. Riolu, like back when I was playing White 2. Before my, uh, well, my Black 2 Nuzlocke, um, when I played Black 2 for the first time, I believe it was in the first episode, but I'm not sure, but Riolu, when I did my practice run through, was my first, uh, Pokemon after my starter. That was awesome. And then I had to restart because it wasn't my official one, and then my first one became a freaking Flaffy. Or, excuse me, a Mareep. And then it evolved into a Flaffy, and then a... I'm froze, but that's just a little fun fact there. Someone did ask if I would have a Lucario on my team ever, and yes, I would. I like Lucario. Lucario is cool. I mean, he's just like under the radar. Like, if I had to like straight up build a team like off rip, of course you guys should know that Gardevoir is on there, Scrafty is on there, and for those of you that don't know, and this thing has Wonder Guard. Are you fucking kidding me? This thing, has, this thing has Wonder Guard. I'm screwed. Or not. Awesome. But yeah, um, for those of you that don't know, Crobat would be on my team because I like Crobats a lot. I really do love Crobats. That's why I like to catch Zubats because I'm typically the, guy, typically the guy that doesn't follow the pack. And by following the pack, I mean like everybody in their like life, not really their life, but everyone that pretty much plays Pokemon is like, oh damn Zubats. I don't like Zubats. Like people don't like Zubats just because you see so many of them. I like Zubats because everybody else hates Zubats. So I'll catch a Zubat so I can get a Crobat because Crobat is freaking got like flamethrower, kill that thing, die. That was awesome. Krabby, flamethrower, kill that thing and die. So close, drop me down to half. I'm not dead because I'm a freaking water type, you idiot. Get up out. Level 20. Ice punch. Hell yeah, you can learn Ice Punch. That extra sensory out of here. Hey, I know I'm a special defense, a special attacker, but you don't, you just don't say no to Ice Punch. You learn Ice Punch by level up, you don't just say no to that. That's... Papa to papa, get me out of here. Yeah, no, shut up, yeah, yeah, red, feeling, Team Rocket, trainer, make balls, here's a fastball. I've been collecting mad apricorns just so I can see, look at this. I've been collecting these. I believe the green is, let's see, I know black is heavy, pink is love, white I believe is fast. I think green is something, I don't know. I forget which green is, but yeah. Give my grandpa's number. I'll take the number, yeah. I don't know why I said no, but. I just want to tell her no, but yeah, I don't want your grandfather's number. Anyway, I kind of forgot that I need to deposit this dead Pokemon of mine. Well, it's not really like I forgot. It was just that I didn't have the opportunity. But anyway, we got a dead poke. So, I'm sorry, Shadow Kid, but uh, you got to get the hell out of here. Peace out. Oh, riggedies. We are about to end this because I'm done. I'm done rambling on. I have nothing else to rant about at this moment in time. You heard my rants earlier on. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button if you would be so kind. Comment below if you would love to because I would love to read comments and stuff like that. Also, please make sure you just, you know, watch my other stuff. It would help a lot and stuff. I know you guys know that, but like it would really help a lot. And uh, thank you guys once again for watching. 
I forgot what the question was earlier in the video. I believe the question was, yeah, how do you feel about the whole Pokemon being made easier thing? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you indifferent? Or do you just, yeah, I don't know. I'm out. Peace out.